Alright, so today I'm going to be drawing the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So first we start off with a white pine. That was a piece of a, I think a 2x4 or 2x5. I don't even know what it was. I forgot what it was. So yeah, it was a scrap piece of wood that my dad had laying around. And I was like, I'm going to make something out of it. Because, yeah, why not? So I drew the heart and then the cross. And then I drew the flames. So the flames, I changed them up. I wanted to add like my little like kick to it or whatever. And then, um, yeah. So... After the fire, I drew the vines on there and I started drawing the lines around the heart as well. And then after that, I drew the blood on there, the drops of blood and the little cut on the side. And then that's the full image, fully drawn. And then here is a time lapse of me engraving it. So what I did before I started engraving it, I uh, traced the whole thing in pen so that it's more visible to me and it was easier to see. So I had this on my little cart and I had the light shining on it to where I could see it a lot better than if it wasn't in the light, you know what I mean? So yeah, so little by little, I engraved the whole thing and it, it was kind of tiring, kind of not, but it was, it was pretty cool. Like I like doing these type of things. This is not the first time I've made something like this. The very first time I made something like this or close to this was, uh, I'll probably put a picture of it towards the end. I drew a, a cross with wings on it. And then I put it on the top of my door. So I was like, yeah, it was pretty cool. And then, yeah, I painted it here. And then here's a little bit better. There it is. All right. So that's the thing. That's the whole thing done. So then I went over it again with the Dremel, I didn't record that part. So I went over it and then those are the paints that I used. I didn't use all those brushes, I used like two of them. Cause I was like, yeah. And then, yeah, so little by little I started, I was gonna do it real neatly or like clean or whatever, but I was like, you know what? I was like, nah. So then, yeah, I was just like, I'm gonna send it. So I started adding more paint and then I would clean it off. And I started adding the paint so that you see how all the parts that are engraved, they pop more. And then with the black, it looks pretty cool. It makes it like a gray. So yeah, and then little by little, you could see more and more of the different, the different, um, like the carving. It's a, it was, it was pretty satisfying to do it like in like real life or whatever. But yeah, it was pretty cool. So then I added paint to the bottom where like the words were at in cursive and that's fully done. And then here we add some color. So I start off with a little bit of red for the drops of blood and then the little cut on the side. And then here we go with the fire. So I start off with a little bit of yellow. I painted the tips of the, the flames yellow, little like little bits of it. And then try and pack as much color as it as much color as I could into it. Cause you know how like when you paint the sometimes like the like the thinner layers of paint don't really like go in there well so then i added a little bit of orange and then the same thing i tried adding a lot of color to it and usually i don't paint too much so like this was like a pretty it came out pretty good but yeah, i guess it's like that type of you know like when you, you have that one talent that you don't really do much but when you do it it comes out real good so yeah, I was surprised at what I was capable of. So that's how it looked with the fire and the blood on there, or the drops of blood. Here, I went back and I mixed like red, yellow, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of green all together and made that brown. So I started going little by little, adding color, and then I started, I put some on the cross as well for the, the cross. I, originally, I was just gonna leave it like just with the flames and the drops of blood, red. But then I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna add some color into it. So here I add a little bit of green to give it that um, that look that it's kind of like kind of fresh, kind of old. You know what I mean? Like it gives it that that detail. And then here I put glow in the dark paint on it. But I tried recording it afterward, like even though I put like a whole bunch of light on it and everything, and it wouldn't work. And I was just like, bro. So yeah. And then I put it all over. I put it pretty much in all the cracks and everything. I put all of it in there and it wouldn't work like i guess the camera wouldn't pick it up the glow of it so yeah it's like if you ever see it in person it would be pretty cool but you'd have to see it at night or like in the dark or something but yeah that was like where i wrote my name 
and then there I started painting the rest of it I painted the rest of it white so that it could go with it and then added a little bit of black on there as well so that I could like finish the whole piece but yeah so if y'all like these type of videos well let me know um, like what I should do next I had it yeah so yeah just let me know but yeah that's the finished product I hope you like it so here's the cross that I was talking about and the best parts you know best for last um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe as well to see more cool content. Yeah.